der Dunkel, der Dunkel, der Dunkel. Okay. Daredevil is an interesting character. He's essentially a, sort of a naked man with horns. Um, there's nothing on his costume other than lines. So there's, if you draw a naked man and then just draw the glove lines, the boot lines, a belt, and two horns, and the cowl, you're good. So in that respect, he's actually a, kind of a harder character. Um, a harder character to, to draw in that um, characters that have capes or large elements of their costumes kind of break up the form and you can kind of hide things that are harder to draw or, or more time consuming to draw so I mean Daredevil is is so naked essentially you see the inside of his ear ear right the way it's drawn I think they would draw literally like the ear lobe and then the ear canal and stuff like that yeah I'm looking at some Frank Miller covers he they literally drew the inside of his ear that's how thin this guy's costume was Which makes sense. I mean, his whole power is that he can kind of he can't see, but all his other senses are hyper uh, evolved. Did I ever draw an arc of Daredevil for Marvel? I I, I drew a couple of um, short stories. I think there's a Daredevil annual. I don't know if Daredevil's in it though. A bunch of these goons that I think Anne Nascenti had created. It was a Daredevil annual issue. I did a short five-page story. And I forgot who inked it because what happened was I sent it in. The pages got lost in the mail. They used another inker who could do it like as a rush job. Then years later, they found the uh, the art, the original art. So there's two versions of the story inked by different people. And I always forget which one actually made it to, 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 to print. And I think I've drawn him on covers. Oh, you know what? I take a Punisher War Journal. The first story arc had Daredevil pretty prominent in the story. Helicopter. Interesting. I asked this for a couple of reasons I'll get into, but I think the last or one of the previous uh, streams, you know, you guys just do your own thing while I'm drawing sometimes, and uh, some of you guys are just like, okay, how how old are you, how old is everyone, and I kind of start just kind of punching in their ages, and sure enough, um, the ages were, for the most part, between 18 and 35, which is consistent with, like, my Instagram account, um, you can basically go in and see where all your followers are. Uh, are coming from their age group and uh, I would say the vast majority of them like 80% were between ages 18 and 35 New York was the the most populated city followed by LA the older ones through the X-Men even the younger ones if you're 18 well, I don't know. I mean, I guess Hush. Or my DC work. Right? So you wouldn't necessarily know, <laughs> bringing this back full full circle to what we were talking about before, you wouldn't know. Alright. His logo is a little complex. Um, inter interlocking D's. at a perspective in perspective as well so I gotta
Starting to run out of real estate down here. I don't know about the screen screen. It's obviously not critical. I bought it a while ago, when to mess around with it. I'll definitely use it for the gaming. For the art side, it doesn't really matter. Drawing logos and lettering is, again, it's like drawing animals, it's like drawing cars. It's a separate skill altogether. My penmanship is horrible. I blame my father. He was a doctor, retired now. And, uh, Every doctor, they've got horrible penmanship. In third grade, I had pretty good penmanship. Took my time. So the other thing about Daredevil is that he's got very uh, hyper thick kind of, I don't even know what this is. I mean, this thing. Is it a shadow? I should ask Frank Miller this. Because I have wondered about this before. Like, is this a shadow? Or is this a part of the costume? Meaning, he's got black rings that go around his eye. You know? Uh, I would say that for, like, um, Batman, it's a shadow. And why can't we see the inside of his ear canal? I mean, that makes no sense. You know, like... The way I always think about Daredevil is he's always kind of looking, and I say that strangely, or ironically, inappropriately, I don't know, in that uh, he's blind, but that he's surveying the scene over New York City. So we've got a little bit of uplit kind of effect going on here. searches through all the city sounds until he's able to pick this this arrhythmic heartbeat out from the cacophony cacophony of noise that is New York City. And I loved that scene as a kid, but now I'm like, what? Another quick thing I'll have to ask Frank. So many questions. Oh, look at this. Alright, so I'm doing this up lighting, and then I drop the shadows on top of the horn, uh, on the underside of the horns. That would be kind of like an M.C. Escher type thing, you know. M.C. Escher, the artist, he would create these improbable, um, uh, perspective scenes, where you know um, someone's walking up these stairs that basically go into um, sort of this Mobius loop type thing. All right. He really played around with the fact that he's drawing something two-dimensionally and, and he can kind of fool the eye into thinking something three-dimensional is going on. But if, if you study it closely, you realize that it's improbable. So I've done something similar. It happens a lot in comics. You light it one way and then you realize, oh wait, I've given the reader, the viewer, the exact opposite information elsewhere. Does that make sense, right? If all the lighting I'm doing suggests light coming up here and then I've got... Now, it could work if there's another strong light source above his head over here. And that light source basically beats out the ambient light that's kind of glowing from uh, the city below. 
And so you would have that. You probably wouldn't have that shadow like that. You'd have like a core shadow over here and then so it would probably be like this. Well, it wouldn't be like this. I'm changing it up. I'm doing one light source. So I'm going to have to pull out the white out here in a bit. These lines are thinner and wider apart back here, suggesting that they are lighter than the ones that are here, which are thinner and more clo uh, closer together to one another. And what that does is it creates a darker gray value. Going back, you'll see that I keep adding grays upon grays. And now I'm going to start cross-hatching. Good to see you. Okay. So this is a point one. I'm basically just going in and beefing up the gray values. And by cross-hatching, I'm creating a, a darker... Let me just move that over here. That will help. It makes the art a little like uh, grittier, dirtier, I guess, uh, in that the lines are not clean. Um, but for a character like Daredevil, it works really well, I think. Just kind of beef up some of these lines here. Maybe make his eye a little bit smaller. Something little, looking a little too cartoony for my taste. Okay. So then if you kind of squint at it to kind of, you can start seeing like the darkest grays are like here and here and here and here. And so, um, you can start making adjustments and going, all right, is that where I want the darkest grays to be? You realize that you're drawing, but at the same time you're making decisions, right? Some people just kind of draw and let it happen and then go like, well, that's what I drew without going, okay, this is sort of the, the proofreading part of it um, where you kind of go, okay, I've got the structure, I've got everything down. Now I want to adjust all the, um, the line weights, the tonalities that I'm, what I'm creating. All right, so I've made some decisions. I'm going to basically go in with a core shadow along here and maybe connect that up here, darken that up a little bit here, and then definitely darken that up over here as well. So just kind of uh, a continuation of what I was doing a while ago. All right, so that's... If this is a level 10 darkness, this looks like it's like a 5, maybe 6. All right. Bring these on to like a seven over here, All right? And then I'm gonna just kind of follow through on what I was talking about, this sort of game plan. All right, connect that shadow into this shadow. And then there's also a jowl line that g goes from here all the way into this part, right? The jaw bone goes through here. You're going to get a shadow because there's a sort of a, a gully. Okay. 
beefing up these lines here. Appreciate it. Um, MMO terminology. I think they've always had that, right, in Twitch? Like, I remember when I first started the account, there was something about that's not in this castle right now or something like that. I'm like, what the heck are they talking about? All right. So this is the strong light. It's creating the sort of the dark core shadows. The core shadows kind of run along here. Sorry, the core shadows kind of run along here. But then they lighten as there's reflected light or other light sources behind there. Happy to raid other people's streams. But how would I know that someone else is streaming where I it almost sounds like I'd have to know that, oh, I'm going to end my stream now so I can sort of send people to another person's stream. It seems like these people would have to be really on top of their schedules. But I'll do some more research on it. Even though the suggestions are going to come from the, the top cheers, everyone starts just typing in what they want to see drawn, and it just stream goes by too fast and it's almost pointless for people to make those suggestions oh that was not good all right i'll have to fix that this over here just keeps wanting to go further down okay so we're going to try to take a couple of the lessons lessons um, some of the things that we've been talking around talking about today and incorporate it into one sketch If you notice, I've kind of done the staggered series of smudges that represents um, nighttime fog, whatever, clouds, night sky, whatever. And I'm basically going to go in and
hopefully that shows up. Yeah. Let me see if I can draw a line like this. I can indeed. I say that in that I know I can, I just haven't done it in a long time. I mean, I know it's possible, but can, can I do it? So, you know, those little backwards uh, sevens I was talking about before. I'm doing the same thing, but with a brush. Kind of gives me a slightly different kind of shape or line. So obviously with the brush, you're able to get different line weights based on the the um, amount of pressure you put on the on the tip. <clears throat> it's all about practice, and I I'm not so great at it. <laughs> now that I'm looking at these lines, um, it's 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 good enough. Which of these do I want to make into buildings, and which do I, do I want to leave as clouds? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm sure that's what you guys are all asking yourselves, too. Right? I can make all these shapes here into buildings kind of in the distance, but then I'm stuck with, what do I do with these over here? I don't, want, I don't know if I want buildings that tall in the background over here. I could just leave them as clouds and fix the edges on his face with whiteout. We're problem solving in real time, folks. See how these things basically kind of suggest buildings in the distance. I think I'll go with that suggestion. It does look like it's has rained a bit. I think so. Someone said he, if he's on a rooftop, it'll look strange that there are buildings behind him that are taller, but not really in that New York. There's super tall buildings.
What's going on? He's got building snot coming out of his nose. <laughs> building snot. Is that a technical term? I don't know. do with this up here. I'm not going to do anything. Making it myself. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I do it very quickly using a, a, a straight edge. I kind of wish this paper were a true true white. I mean, if this gets scanned in, if it were to get scanned in and published, like uh, all the whites would, the cream, the creamy whites and whites would balance out. But for an original, the white out stands out a little bit too much for my taste. But it's the paper I chose, so I apologize.
That's Daredevil. <coughs> Excuse me. I just want to darken up some of these lines here. darken that costume part up a little bit. Just kind of subtly bring a little more gray back into these areas that I put white out on so that they don't look like just like white out on cream paper. That chin is very hot. And by hot, I mean it's very white. City a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. Truly interactive art. Crowdsourced. You can still. It looks. Now it looks dark on the screen. But if you look at it close up, you can see the slight hint of a building in the background. Okay. Are we good now? Can we, everyone put their jackets back on? Is that cool? <laughs> 